Welcome to SnapConf. The new branding section in the Content Manager lets you set your organizational branding in terms of your logo, fonts, and colors, and then use that as a theme when creating and publishing SnapConf's messages. This new feature eliminates the need to order branded templates from SnapComs and gives you full control over the branding of your messages. To set your branding, open the management section in the Content Manager and select Branding. The first time you visit this page, you will see generic branding in place. The first thing is to change the generic logo to your own. Click Change Logo Image and find your company logo in one of the supported image types on your PC. I will use the Snapcoms logo. Once you've changed the logo, the colors below are picked up automatically from the most dominant color in the logo. In my case, this is orange. You can manually override that using the color picker if you choose. The default font is Arial, but you can change it to any of the fonts shown in the list, or if the font is not in your list, but it is installed on your computer, you can simply type the exact name of the font and it will be displayed. Here I want to use the Snapcom's corporate font, which is Open Signs. Notice how the preview on the right moves to show you exactly where the changes apply. You can adjust the font sizes here too. Once you're happy with the preview on the right, select Apply to replace your branding. Take care though, because this will replace the branding on all items using your organization branding theme. To use the branding you've put in place to style a message, click Create Content, select Organizational Branding, and the logo, fonts, and colors will be applied to the new message. Note that administrators with management privileges can also access the branding section from the designer interface while editing a message. Select the pencil to open the designer. Select the settings cog. Then choose the style tab and use the edit branding button to get to the branding setup. Make the changes you need, then return to the asset to continue editing the message. Thanks for watching this Snapcoms tutorial. If you require additional help, please email tech.support at snapcoms.com.